Good morning, YouTube. Um, today's episode, we discuss uh, both why video games and movies seem to just be rehashing and rehashing and rehashing old ideas rather than coming up with anything new, as well as the strange reason for why fan-made films of both movies and anime seem to be better than big-budget films. That seems like uh, something that shouldn't be the case when uh, they don't have as much uh, resources to use. And in today's episode, we've got Shadow Cat sitting right next to me. Hello. And we've got... Nice to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, Rick, who has aged quite significantly. He is now Gandalf. Hello. And we've He's got... not even his final form. Yeah. We've got a Third Wheel sitting next to him. You know it. And then over in the corner, as Morgan Freeman, we have Emerald. In the flesh, baby! Yeah, uh, I will leave links to Emeralds and uh, Shadowcats, uh, their, their YouTubes, in the description of this video. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open up the floor to, uh, whoever, uh, I guess I'll start with Shadowcat, with, uh, your, your, your thoughts on these, uh, these subjects. I guess uh, we're gonna start discussing the, uh, the, the movies and games first, and then we'll jump into anime later. Well, see, like with rehashing, it's really annoying. Like, especially like, let's look at Disney for a moment. Look at all the re um, rehashings they've done of the Jungle Book, of Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. Of I can't, um, they're redoing Mulan currently as we speak. Yep, I don't yep, know yep. if it's being edited, but like they don't have any original ideas. And sometimes when they do the rehashing, like let's look at Maleficent. Maleficent has completely ruined Sleeping Beauty now. Mm -hmm. You I mean, I, 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 I haven't seen it, so I don't know, but I, I'm okay. going to go with your well, opinion on for that. for those of you that have out there, like, <laughs> if you watch Maleficent now, the way they, the way the people died in the original story, the Sleeping Beauty's parents, or Aurora's parents didn't die, they were put to sleep. Yeah, yeah. But then, in Maleficent, they both died. They're like, nope, you're dead. And it's just, it's just, just, they need to stop remaking their old stuff that made really good money, and they need to just try and actually go out on a new path. But why, 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 why do you think Wars. that they're they're doing that as opposed to making new movies? Like, is oh, it just they've run ideas. out of ideas? It's either they've run out of ideas, or they're so lazy that they're <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, these ideas made tons of money. Let's redo them with good, better actors. And as but, like, as, as for games, though. <sighs> See, <laughs> just, I'm just the. Just, I'm trying to think of just like one game, like well, one game or game movie that was remade and just like kind of ruined it. Well, take but take take like take put... your character into to aspect like Tomb Raider. They have made Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Rise of the Tomb Raider. Like everything is just <laughs> yeah. a reboot. Like really? It, yeah, and how many Indiana Jones movies are there out there right now that are mm. just ridiculous? Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Rick? What is uh, what is your thoughts on, on this? Well, uh, sometimes the, the rehashing comes out good. I will yeah. say that. Yeah. For, for example, it, 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 at least in my opinion, um, the rehash of Total Recall. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they changed a lot in the movie, but they kept the characters names and some of the, the uh, aspects of what happened in the in the original movie but mm -hmm. in essence it's a, it's a different movie um, the the other one that comes to mind and that's good is Robocop okay they completely redid that story as well but I think they changed it for the better in that one okay but what about um, what what about games what about games like <sighs> Jeez, <laughs> where do you start on that one? Um, they, they're, you know, I, I, I'm. It's yeah, it's hard to <laughs> see now. Yeah. See, I can say this because, as much of a fan at, of Five Nights as Freddy of Freddy's as I am, mm. there's now technically six, but nobody <laughs> talks about the Naf World. So there's five games. And, like, each of them have good stories, so they were all done, but it's the same gameplay that's redone. Yeah. Which, I'm not going to hate Scott Cawthon, because he's made a decent game. 
Mm. But to have the like, some of them like for, for perfect example, I don't know how many of you guys will believe will agree, but FNAF three that one was way too rushed. The gameplay is way oh, too yeah. is easy, oh, yeah. and it's just it's it's just not scary. Well, Once the you problem to the jump scares, it's fine. <laughs> the problem with that one, he didn't take long to develop that game at all. Like that one took like not even a couple of months for him to just rush out and produce. I think he he was way more focused on the uh, on the story aspect and on the the Easter egg aspect over the uh, the actual gameplay itself. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. So what about uh, what about you, Emerald? What are your uh, thoughts on this whole debacle? So, I mean, like we have to start from the bottom up. Is is that we live in a capitalist culture, and movie making is a business. Yeah. In being a business, you have to make decisions. Now, these movies are costing roughly a hundred thousand, or sorry, not hundred thousand, hundred million, or like two hundred million a piece usually. Yeah. And so if you're like investing in a movie that takes like three years to make and you're dumping 100 million you need to guarantee a return on investment so if we look at like monster trucks for instance that was released in 2016 like it's a new idea but i mean like it's not really any good i mean not by any <laughs> sort of critical standard it's uh that one had a budget of 125 million and it returned 64 and a half million box office so they lost half their money on that yeah so like when i'm someone who's investing 200 million bucks if you come to me and say hey i want to do suicide squad and that movie i think it was budgeted like 150 million and it made 900 million yeah. i mean it's a horrible movie but i'm getting my return on investment whereas if you present me a new idea it's not and also there's another angle of uh copyright with copyright law if you don't renew your property or you don't make a new product mm. every i think the cop is seven i want to say then mm. you lose the intellectual property okay uh what are your what are your thoughts on on games though uh games are kind of a different market as far as i can see like i mean in in film the indie <laughs> market is a lot more i don't want to say underground but it's not as accessible just to a layman Whereas in games, uh, the PS4 platforms, uh, Steam from Valve, these are all, they have the AAA titles on there, but they also are a huge platform for indies. Like, indies are really accessible to even a casual gamer. But so, like, it, the AAAs can keep cranking out these. It, it still seems like they're cranking out the exact same crap, though. It's all, call, like, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, just slightly different storylines. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, slightly different storylines. Doom, 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 just the same storyline brought onto different platforms. It doesn't seem like they're really coming out with anything original. And I think that has to do with, like... Oh, go ahead. And, and the other thing is is that uh, they keep using the same engine. Yeah. When was the last time <coughs> that, that um, Unreal Engine was updated? I <laughs> couldn't answer that one. That's a very good question, yeah. But uh, what, what, what what were you saying, uh, Emerald? So I think that, like, video games are kind of still a new medium in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think that a lot of the executives who are making these kind of purchasing decisions in video games are, uh, like, uh, Jim Sterling a while ago talked about how, like, Clash of Clans, Call of Duty, and Candy Crush back in, like, two years ago or so were kind of the only games, and those were the models. Yeah. And I think a lot of them are running blind, so they're kind of falling into the same trap of, they don't want to take any risks, but we don't really have a lot of original content to go off of, so everything is kind of duplicating itself in that sense, yeah. which is a problem I don't really have an answer to at this point. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, personally, I feel like I can I can kind of understand why movies aren't coming out with original content because, like, there's so many platforms out there nowadays that like their their movies can be pirated. And they they're like oh I don't I, I don't want to spend all this money on coming up with an original idea if someone's just going to pirate my movie and I'm not going to make any money off of it. And then there's the fear that the movie would go straight to box office too. There's so many movies like move for, like we're going to go to the book <coughs> aspect for just a moment. Mm -hmm. One book that I read called Maximum Ride. Like everyone was hearing oh the movie's going to come out soon the movie's going to come out soon next thing we know it was on Netflix. I don't know it's just. <sighs> I I don't like seeing movies remade, especially like when they do remakes of movies that came out like five years ago. There's no point in making a remake. Like I can understand uh, making like, I don't know, another 
freaking Nosferatu movie because that's like black and white stuff. But like movies that came out like t- freaking remaking The Mummy, which oh. yeah, was 1999. That's not that's not enough time to remake the movie. And they're I mean they're not they're kind of have an original aspect to it where it's like a female mummy this time. But I mean. It doesn't look as good as the original, and the original came out in 1999, so it should look better, and it should be a better movie. New, take the new Ghostbusters, for example, as much as I love Melissa McCarthy and those female <laughs> actresses, and as much as I thought the movie was hilarious, mm-hmm. the original Ghostbusters were the guys. Well, I mean, so I'm, just, I'm just waiting for them to remake The Three Amigos without freaking Chevy Chase, Martin Short, and Steve Martin in it, and then I'm just going to be done. Huh. Well, yeah, I watched a, a video on YouTube not too long ago that was kind of talking about this issue of like even the original movies coming out now are kind of falling into this trap of using old familiar things like the Emoji movie. It's an original property, but <laughs> using oh. the same concept of just like this old widespread. Oh, everybody knows what an emoji is. It's ba- I mean, it's basically a rehash of something that hasn't been created yet, just because it's so widespread. Yeah, but. It should not be made. It, no. Why? Why is the emoji movie a thing? Well, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, our, 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 yeah, our society, we, we make stupid things and stupid people famous. Stop I mean, party. I mean, well, yes, that or, or pe- pe- <laughs> people. Cash me outside, how about that? I was just going to say that. Like, people like that are getting all of the news time, and it's just like, we shouldn't be idolizing these people. Or these things. Like, there's so much that we could do if we weren't doing stupid things like this. Mm-hmm. But, okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, have us move to the other topic of why is it that fan-made films, when it comes to gaming and uh, anime, especially anime, are better than the big-budget films? Like, how, how is that a thing when we don't have anywhere near the resources that they do? Okay, well, that's a really simple answer. One, fans are more in touch with the fan base, and they're a hell of a lot more creative. Because me knowing uh, fans and how they can be, they they basically recite this crap in their heads. They come up with original ideas like this all the time. All they got to do is put it to pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, we, we still don't have the the money or the resources that big budget companies do. Even with donations, there are people right now that struggle. I mean... There's, uh, <laughs> let me think of just one here. I think it's Tony Cry Knight. I think that's who it is. I'd have to double check. But he does FNAF animation, just because, of course, that's what I'm obsessed with. <laughs> and then there's people that do the Undertale animation that take, like, the iconic battles between Sans, Metaton, mm-hmm. Muffet, and take those and animate them. But I fear if someone in Hollywood tried to do that, they would they completely it. obliterate it. The mm. fans make these most amazing animations. It's just like, because the, the people that create the movies, or like help create the <coughs> movies, are not in it for the fans. They're in it to like, how can we make the most money? Yeah. That's literally what it is. Well, I mean, uh, let's let's refer to something that was uh, fairly recent. Um the Roroni Kenshin live action movies. Um, I I I'm I'm a fan of both the original series and the uh, the manga. Um, but like the live action, while I'm not going to say it was bad, it wasn't nearly as good as it could have been had it followed the actual storyline that they had mm-hmm. in place. Like there were there were some sequences in that that just like literally made me facepalm like there was a character um that was uh named Uswi Uswi the blind who was a blind swordsman um he had an entire like he showed up in the entire Kyoto arc like multiple times he had a very uh concise battle with Hajime Saito one of the characters I I know you guys don't necessarily know much about the series mm-hmm. but uh he he was a big character that showed up multiple times in the series in the live action movie he literally had four seconds of screen time and was killed get rid of the elephant in the room okay avatar the last airbender <laughs> oh god oh. 
I uh, said let's get rid of the, ele the elephant. You guys all, I know, I know. M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong. What? Let's name each one thing that's wrong about the movie. The uh, characters' names. I'm I'm just gonna go with M Night Shamalama Ding Dong, and that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I tend to agree with that one. Like, just for acting. Like 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 when I when, when I saw the interview with uh, the the writers of Avatar, and they're like, "Yeah, we're making a live action," and then I saw M Night Shyamalan sitting next to him. I'm like. Oh no! <laughs> Why would you do that? Don't get me wrong, Avatar. If you if you don't see the the anime, it, a movie by itself is it's a good movie. Oh yeah, if you went into it blind, mm. not being a fan, <laughs> it was good for what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, the styles were good, but I mean the, the acting was, was still terrible. The, yeah, acting the, the, the acting was terrible. The, act, uh, the acting was terrible. But like the minute you're the person that has watched it, you hear Ong and Suka. Ugh. I Just mean, I the even way say it that. made the and the way, in my opinion, the way they made earthbending look. Earthbending. When you think earth, you think tough rock. They made it look like they were playing with like ribbons in the air in my opinion and i was so mad. i actually walked out of the theater for a few minutes because of that. <laughs> i mean i mean like there's even situations uh with with, with gaming gaming movies like uh, oh, and, I, and I'm, I'm gonna put this out there the original mortal kombat movie, <laughs> to, a bad movie. to be fair to be fair Mortal Kombat was never supposed to be taken seriously in the first place. It, w it was originally supposed to be a, a movie about Jean or a game about Jean Claude Van Damme just killing people. But I mean, I feel I feel the original movie as hokey and freaking it, it it was it was the Power Rangers of fighting movies. Oh yeah. Um, oh, Power Rangers. It it could it could have been the worse. The new one was good, Shadow. It, it, I haven't seen it, but I'm talking about though. old. That's fair. Like, like the with the Mortal Kombat and like the Dead or Alive movies, like there's that like super campy charm that they had. Like yeah. they weren't meant to be serious. Like they knew what they were doing. I yeah. think I think they did it well. They were just trying to be like way over the top, like, how stupid can this be? And then they did it really well. Yeah, I feel I feel I feel like they were kind of treating it like uh like Baywatch. Where it's like we can't take this seriously. But um if you I've gotta it, say the worst gaming movies though, Street Fighter. That was Pretty bad. I don't think I've seen that one either. That was pretty bad. No. Um, but that I'm just had John Claude Van Damme in it. I'm just gonna. No, I'm, I, the worst one's the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. With that, uh, I, I I think I'm gonna close the conversation. Um, I I just want to uh, thank my my co co people, my uh, Shadow Cat here again. I'm gonna put her uh, link in the description. We've got Rick and uh, Third over here and then we've got Morgan Freeman also known as Emerald again I am going to link the description of uh, his channel below um, as for next week's link, put his link in the description I've heard it both ways shut up or you could describe my channel <laughs> I, I could I could um, but uh, <laughs> as for next week's episode we rely heavily on comments so basically if you have a topic that you want us to discuss on here even if it's silly, uh, just leave it in the comments section below. The comment with the most likes will be the uh, the next top topic, or or the sillier we'll, the better. Well, not, not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, Let's if you, if you have any if you have any good ones, yeah, it can be silly or it can be actually serious. Or I mean, if there's no comments about stuff that uh, you guys want us to uh, talk about, we'll just come up with something on the fly, like Shadowcat did here with uh, this particular topic. And, uh, yeah, I want you guys to, you know, be involved. So anything that you want us to discuss, link it in the comment section. Be like, hey, you know what? You should you should discuss pancakes. Like, they're super good. They should be discussed. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing the comments and seeing uh, what you guys uh, want us to discuss. And uh, I guess join us next week. Uh, not necessarily the same people are going to be here, but they might be. I don't know. Thank you guys for joining us, and I will see you in next week's episode. Okay, so uh, as for the outro today, we are going to do a stack battle. Uh, it's going to be... Uh... Put, your, put your RPG away. <laughs>
<laughs> it's going to be Emerald versus, uh, well, yeah, Emerald versus Shadowcat. Ready? And fight. Dude, I used to play competitive games were good. <laughs> <laughs> I got twitch shots. <laughs> mess. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, those are positive okay. connections. Oh, oh. I- Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. 